Hello MCs! Welcome to MC TV. So if you are new in our channel, so please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you will be updated to our new videos in the near future. So here I am to discuss to you or to share with you my experience with Bell. So Bell is a telecommunication company here in uh, Canada. Uh, which I've been using it for almost two years. Actually, it will be expiring next month. Why Bell? So first of all, when we arrive here, it's one of the recommended uh, telecommunication company by our friends here. So, and during that time, it was the cheapest when I go from one company to the another. So two years ago, uh, they offered me this great deal. First plan around 60 CAD per month unlimited data 2 gigabytes sorry plus another 2 as their promo during that time uh, with a maximum speed so for the first few months it was a good deal because I'm not choosing much data I just use the data for travel for especially when you're riding the bus you really need the data so you are updated on when the bus will be coming or what what time they will arrive on the station and that's why it was important that time but after I guess a year uh, I upgraded my plan around uh, 70 just to have the six unlimited or uh, six gigabytes unlimited data plan because uh, we've been traveling and my son was watching too much YouTube, so I need a plan a little bit higher. Then after again, when we started the uh, YouTube, me and my wife, I decided to upgrade it again to 80 to have the promo of 10 gigabytes unlimited. So as you can see, I'll share it to you in my screen. Okay, so here, this is my existing data plan okay so this is 10 gigabytes of unlimited okay at max speed data and as you can see here no overage charges once you've used all your maximum speed data you can continue to use unlimited data at reduced speed so that was the very important one because even you maximize like me it's just 19 days I already maximized my data 10 gig I can still use it and as you can see here I already use 1.4 gigabytes on top of my 10 gigabytes and I still can use it to watch a few small clips YouTube check your emails check your uh, Facebook to be updated so so that's a great deal and I am using my Google Pixel 3 AXL. So what good about this phone? As you can see, I've been using this for almost two years. I still maintain it in a pristine condition. So it will after May, after the, my end of contract, it is already mine. And the good news is they have their promo to win or to maintain their customer at their service so they releases a new promo so as you can see here get a bonus of $240 off the Samsung Galaxy S1 okay so I choose that one and as you can see if you check on the site you will see an 11.67 dollars per month on top of your monthly bills so what did I do I call them as you can see in my screen okay the device option and pricing so when you say device return option after two years you're going to return the cell phone okay it's like a rent and you're going to pay 
dollars per month and if you said 256 gigabytes you said 1109 it's much cheaper but apparently since i am a customer of them for almost two years they offer me this product and guess what so they offer me this product the samsung galaxy s21 5g 256 gigabytes guess what how much point zero four cents okay so i will be renting my samsung galaxy s21 5g at point zero four cents so why not so some are asking why shouldn't i buy it? if i buy it i'm going to pay around uh, i believe it was 33 dollars per month for two years so for me uh, I have to lower my monthly bills from 80 because on top of this it became $65 per month uh, with unlimited data so my maximum data will be 15 gigabytes not 10 compared to the one that I show you it will now become 15 gigabytes of data at maximum speed but still I can use the cell phone so that's great and that was three days ago when I called uh, the um, uh, the customer service of Bell so I've been renting this one for 0 0.04 cents plus 0.87 cents for the tax of course you have to pay the taxes and that's for the phone i believe so so my total probably 65 plus one dollar and one cent so i have 66 dollars so again here in canada don't forget your total bill plus tax so it depends on the province okay total bill plus tax so let's say i might be paying around 71 72 and that's a great deal and if you are asking why should I um, why should I don't rent it because I don't need it actually I just need it for our blogging because of the new features of it so after two years if there's a new phone then I can change it anytime so I just have to make sure that the battery the screen and everything is doing okay before I return it okay so like I said three days ago when I applied for the upgrade through phone call I received the package and here it is this is the package so here is the package package it's not yet open so let's open up so this is the Samsung S21 256 so let's see what's inside package this so they usually give this one if they're going to return it if you don't like it so this is a new sim card oh there you go There you go. What's inside the box? Wow. Cheers. Hmm. Nice one. So, compare to my old cell phone. It is much smaller for this few centimeters. Good camera here. There you go. Uh, there you can see me. I'm using my GoPro right now. Okay. Go. Mm. Don't need that one. It's all in there. This is plastic. This one, let's see. Okay, so 
There's no charge yet. So what you had here, speaking for your SIM card. Okay, your cord and your startup kit. Okay, there you go. So, no charger. I have a lot of charger here. So, it's your S21. Okay. So, okay, MCs, that's my whole experience with Bell and having the S21. So, Thank you for watching. So if you are new in our channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe to MCTV. Okay? Bye-bye.